This question is about 3D printing. So 3D printing and additive manufacturing have become increasingly popular over the past few years. Um, especially here at LSU, I know we have some resources on campus and a lot of our design projects are now tailored toward 3D printing. So my question is, what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of 3D printing? And do you think it will surpass conventional manufacturing in the future? Um, so hey everyone, everyone uh, my name is Bryce. And uh, the question is, um, do I think that 3D printing is going to basically take over um, traditional manufacturing? Um, so 3D printing, I would say, is a huge part of the uh, a new kind of wave of uh, manufacturing. Uh, it gives you a kind of an opportunity to uh, make things that look really present. So you know, you could just get a computer, uh, to, to, you know, print something. You don't have to do that. So I think that's definitely a, uh, a huge thing. Um, Disadvantages, it's kind of slow. You want to really do like plastics and stuff nowadays. You can do a little bit of other materials, but um, you know, it's kind of limited. Uh, yeah, um, question? So while 3D printing itself may be a more efficient way of producing products, what about the people that will lose jobs due to the addition of 3D printing and manufacturing as opposed to steel workers and hand machine shop guys? Sure. Um, so I think that's definitely going to be like a uh, something that's going to happen. You can't really avoid that. Um, but that's just part of manufacturing. I mean, that same thing happened in the early 1930s. I mean, it's something that kind of phased off. <coughs> yes. So you talked about the pros and cons. So what was your answer? Do you think it will take over? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, 3D printing is really helpful for like prototyping and stuff. And but like once you get to more like complex actual manufacturing and printing, the cost like exponentially rises. Do you think like the cost of like complex printing will push back like 3D printing and like the advancements in it? Yeah, um, maybe for you know a little bit, but I think you know long term it's definitely gonna the price is gonna decrease. You know, especially what happens and things like that. So. Uh, Maybe short term will be, it's not really going to take anything over, but long term, I think it will. Yep. So, one of your cons that you talked about was how slow it is. So, kind of based off what Tripp said, talking about how it's really good for prototyping, but when you get into like manufacturing shops and mass production of products, do you think that 3D printing will be able to keep up with that mass production speed that you get out of manufacturing shops and like supply chain right now? Sure. Um, well, right now, it definitely can. Obviously, but uh, I mean, there's just still more development needs to be done there. So um, I think in the future, you know, there's going to be more, and it's going to be faster. But for right now, it's definitely not. Do you think? Do you think it will be point out most of what we use? Uh, I don't know about most, but I think it's definitely going to be a very expensive part of uh, producing things for us. So that means I uh, don't think it should result in the future. Well, I don't think it's going to completely, but I think it's going to significantly like decrease our dependence on it. 